Okay. Well, we all know and love Science City at Union Station for its hands-on learning activities, but some kids have trouble experiencing it. Kelly Taylor tells us how the Science Center toned down its normal bells and whistles to welcome kids with sensory sensitivities. On a typical day, Science City could be filled with anywhere from hundreds to thousands of families playing and learning. But this morning, it was open to a special group of kids. It's a lot more quiet and a lot, you know, people that are here understand and the staff is prepared to, to understand kids on the spectrum. She's just one of many parents who appreciate the Science Center opening its doors to children on the autism spectrum who may normally be affected by the normal sights and sounds here. It looks just like this. You'll just hear a lot, a lot more sound. So we have like um, ambient sounds that play sometimes like city noises or popping or sizzling and things like that. Just this is the first ever sensory sensitive Sunday here at Science City and families hope it isn't the last. Events like this are really important that he gets to come in and it's an environment that's friendly to him so he doesn't have a meltdown. And that's a good thing because organizers hope to host more of them regularly if their trial run is successful. We want to make sure that we're providing a space for any any child, um, especially those with uh, sensory sensitivities or those that might be on the autism spectrum, that they have an opportunity to um, learn and play in an environment like this. Kelly Taylor, KCTV 5 News. And Science City is open Tuesday through Saturday from 10 until 5 and Sundays from noon until 5.